Today, we brought really, really good live bait. We have had a pretty decent sized pike glaring at our bait. We have four tip ups out across this big flat. Oh, plank, 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 plank. Well, hooked up, fish on. Welcome back everybody, my name is Ben Stone. You're watching canalgrass.com. Once again, I'm joined by Phoenix here. Or on? All Around Fishing is his YouTube channel. Last week you saw us out fishing for pike with out live bait. We had hot dogs, smelt, and rattle baits. Today we brought really, really good live bait. Yes sir, big, big suckers, big shiners. Yeah, so right now we have all tip ups out. So both Phoenix and I are allowed two lines per person in Minnesota. So we have two tip ups out each. We have four tip ups out across this big flat in hopes to catch big pike today. We have the bump board with, so we're expecting to hopefully catch some bigger fish. We have two GoPros down there to cover underwater strikes. And yeah, we just have a number of lines out. We're gonna be just chilling in our cars, waiting for these flakes to pop, and hopefully we're gonna have an entertaining day of pike fishing. Might just troll right at the start of midnight, open water. Oh, that'd be sick. Because I I mean oh, oh, like, oh. Ah, if you want. Oh yeah. Pretty sure it just came off. Yeah. Dang it. Still. Didn't feel super big, which is nice. Yeah, didn't look Let's what? take a look at that. Yeah, so you can see he actually, it looks like he had it more towards the front and actually didn't get the actual hook. Oh, totally, dude. He headshotted it. So we're going to move this up. Normally when I run suckers, I like to go behind the dorsal fin. It just gives that minnow a lot more action, but just based on that, I'm going to move this treble up a little bit. So we just went back and checked the GoPro to see if we could actually get on there and see what exactly took the line. And what was pretty cool is that there was actually two fish from the short clip that I watched, one fish in the background that swims by, and then out of nowhere, this other little fish comes in and completely headshots the sucker. So that was pretty cool to see. It's unfortunate that bigger fish didn't bite because I think if it did, we would have caught it. And like I said, today we we're just chilling in our truck. It requires very little setup. We just have to drill our holes, get flags down, and then we sit in our trucks, warm up, and we go out when we have flags up. So I'm gonna continue waiting, and hopefully we don't have to wait too long before that next flag pops. Dude, so the first fish you see comes by, comes back, comes in from the side, and then that little one comes up and hits it. Yeah. And then that fish comes back through again, and then in the background you see another one. I, it might be that fish, because it might, I looked like it might, oh, plank, 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 plank. That was convenient. On. Doesn't feel doesn't feel super big, unfortunately. Nope. But it is the first fish of the day. Sort of struggling today to get fish. Not big, but when you're not catching a lot of fish in the day, the little fish are fun too. We'll get this little guy back. You can see we're just running. Live bait today. Last time we were out here, we had to settle for hot dogs. Today we got better bait. Unfortunately, the fishing isn't as good, but 
We're gonna get this line set back down there. Hopefully this is a sign that fish are beginning to become more active. So we'll keep a close eye on our other flags here, but I'm gonna get this minnow back in the water and go warm my hands up because they are very cold. I just got done checking our Far GoPro and to my surprise within the last 20 minutes we have had a pretty decent sized pike glaring at our bait. It actually struck the sucker at one point but it was really cool to skim through this footage and watch how many times this fish came in to check out that sucker before it actually hit. It's on a 20 minute loop and that fish came in every five minutes once at least once so that fish has been glaring at that bait. We're coming up on a major right now. I think once this major hits, we're gonna get a crack at this fish. At the very least, I think we'll just get a crack at a fish, whether it's that flag or one of the other ones. So we're running out of daylight, as you can tell, the sun's beginning to set, but very confident we're gonna get another chance here, but really cool to watch that fish's behavior underwater. So we've been on the water now for a while and it's been pretty slow which is a little discouraging but one thing that you really want to keep in mind when you're fishing for predatory fish is oftentimes these predatory fish are very very specific to when they feed you hear the term windows get thrown around around for walleyes pike muskie so if you're on water and things are slow it doesn't always mean that there's not fish in that area. Though the flags aren't popping out very consistently, we know there's fish here, and we're really just waiting on those windows to open up. And the point I'm trying to make is, predatory fish feed in windows, especially in the winter. So if your flags aren't popping right away, just give it some time and let those fish naturally come and feed. Well, we finally got one. Hooked up. We're hooked up. Fish on. How's it feel? Not bad. It's been very, very slow, but... Something's, something's messed up here. Feels like a heavier fish than last time, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is uh, at least giving us a fight. The first fish that I caught was small. The first strike that we had was small, and then it's been slow. But we've seen plenty of activity in this area from sunfish, bass, pike, and now finally, it seems like we have a decent fish. Dude, let's go. <laughs> I think we have a big bass on, boys. I'm not quite sure yet. Oh no, it's a pike. Nice pike, dude. Oh, yeah. That sucker is just gone. Second fish of the day, first for me. It's a nice pike. Nice and chunky. Work the weight. Work the weight. So at this point, we're well into our major period and the fish should be biting, but they aren't. And I just got done playing back about 40 minutes of GoPro footage on one of our lines and literally witnessed a pike, the same fish, and literally circle it for over 40 minutes. This pike came within centimeters to the sucker and to watch such an aggressive fish be so cautious about what it's doing is bizarre. You would never know that's going on had you not had a camera on it. So it's both frustrating, but also really, really cool to watch a fish interact in such a unique way. But we know there's fish here. It just must be one of those days where fish just don't feel like doing much. So tomorrow we have a huge warm front coming in. I'm gonna get back out here with Phoenix and hopefully we're gonna have better conditions. But for right now, we're gonna keep fishing until the sun disappears and hopefully get one more crack at a fish. At this point, it's abundantly clear to Phoenix and I that today is just not a good day to be on the water because I just played back more GoPro footage and we had yet another pike come in and just stare at the sucker and not do anything in the slightest to make a move on it and eat it. So with that being said, we're going to call it just because we're at the end of daylight and pike aren't really known to feed into the night, at least where I fish. The only thing to take away is this is just how fishing goes sometimes. We know we're on fish, they just aren't cooperating with us. But tomorrow we have a major warm front. I just checked the weather again, 45 degrees Fahrenheit for the high. Gonna be a nice day. We are gonna get back out here. And I think with the warm front, at least I would expect that fishing is gonna be much, much, much better tomorrow. At least much easier. Not gonna be super cold out because today it's actually pretty cold out. With all of that being said, I'll have a link for Phoenix's channel in the description below. I appreciate y'all watching this video and I will see you next week.